Hey guys, um, thank you for being on my uh, YouTube and uh, my name is Nara. I'm a real estate agent working in Northern Virginia and uh, it's been a while since I recorded my videos but I decided to record this video just to share with you what was happening in 2020 and the first half of 2021 with me and people I know, agents I know throughout the country and Canada. Um, to show you also the stats for uh, the pricing, the days on the market, just so you, you can see the numbers for the market, just to kind of make your own conclusions as to where we're going and what to expect. And, um, you know, just to share with you uh, what's been happening in my life, uh, in, in, in the life of real estate. Um, the reason that I'm doing it today is because today um, June statistics w were released and I'm looking at right now I'm looking at Fairfax County, um, Loudoun County and Prince William County. I do have ability to run the same stats for your particular zip code so if you want to know what's happening in your zip code let me know I can do the same thing for you it's going to take me a couple of seconds. Let's take a look at what's happening with the prices um, in the last two years. We're starting with uh, 2019, and as you can see, we were starting, the starting point for Fairfax County in 2019, in July of 2019, two years ago, was just above $600,000. That's the average sales price. But if we go all the way back to June of this year, last month, the price went up, up to $735. That's average price for the county. Um, you visually can really see the the market the prices and what's been happening this is the trend so the prices are growing what should we expect for prices in the future the consensus is is that we will see the growth we may not see as aggressive of a growth but we will see uh, the growth the prices are not expected to go down but let's take a look at days on the market um, we used to two years ago uh, we used to have average days on the market of just a, just under 40 days so what the, what this means is that you would need the house would need to be on the market for about a month to actually go under contract right now uh, we're looking at um, less than uh, 10 12 days on average but really what we've been seeing especially in the last couple of months in since the beginning of 2021 we've seen houses go on, on under contract within 24 hours. Um, we still see sometimes the same thing happen now, but not as often as it used to be two, three months ago. It tells us that um, the, the hoopla, the, you know, that <laughs> the buyers are not willing to jump the, you know, as much as it used to be. So we're, it's cooling down a little bit, which is, uh, really really welcome sign we're really looking forward to that because we really want to see um, buyers and sellers be able to negotiate with each other right now we cannot see that if you put an offer on something it has to be non-contingent on anything uh, the price has to be way above asking and uh, that's not normal it's not healthy and how do you want to how do you know if the market is healthy or not if you've seen my previous videos, you will remember that a healthy market is when you freeze the, the number of homes on the market. It will take you six months to sell them. That means months of supply. And if you look at the picture right now, in 2019, two years ago, we already had a very strong seller's market. Two months, we, months of supply did not exceed two months. And right now we are under one month, under half months. Um, it's growing a little bit. We're hoping that it's going to equalize a little bit, but let's let's take a look at what's been at, the, at this dynamics uh, for the last 10 years. Um, if you can see, we have not seen a healthy market in a while, but we are really, really, really in a strong seller's market right now. So uh, what does this mean to you? If you are thinking about selling, now would be the best time because we're all looking for homes to sell uh, there are a lot of buyers looking to buy and it's true for two two hundred three hundred four hundred thousand dollar homes as well as a million uh, uh, two million dollar homes if you have a nice home to sell if it's clean if it's not i'm sorry if it's not a dump you will sell it fast and you will sell it under uh, you know with with extremely good terms um 
if you're looking to buy, you probably want to buy now because you don't want to wait until the interest rate starts going up significantly and you don't want to wait for the prices to keep going up because they're going to keep going up. They may go up slower, but they will keep going up. Now, I mentioned other agents throughout the nation uh, that I talk to every single week. And we are also, all, everyone is who's working, who's actively working in the market. And I believe me, the, the agents that I talk to, we're all very active. We all work very much in this market. We are not expecting um, this to cool down anytime soon, anywhere. And right now here, we're looking at uh, offer prices being over asking in at, at about 10 15 percent um, level in um, west coast in areas uh, some areas uh, on the west coast we're talking 40 50 percent over so buyers in order to get homes are uh, you know they're they have to put an offer that's 40 to 50 percent over asking so that's how not normal this whole situation is um, We've expected, I mean, I don't know if you uh, remember, but um, at the beginning of 2020, when this whole pandemic started, we didn't know what to expect, but the consensus was that the prices will still keep growing up, but nobody expected such a big shot up. Um, some analysts thought that we may go down in prices, but that didn't happen. But the consensus overall, 99% of professionals in the, in the industry thought that the market will keep going up, and it happened. We just didn't expect it to go up that fast. And right now, again, we're all thinking that um, the growth may slow down, but we still will see growth in prices. And so you know, make your own conclusions, uh, do what you need to do, but just to tell you um, about what's been happening. And you probably saw in your um, neighborhoods, homes go on the market and goes, go on the contract real fast. And you probably didn't see as many go on the market. You're probably going to see more and more go on for sale now. And that's a great thing. We all welcome that because right now the number of buyers are such um there there's so many buyers out there there are there it will take years before the supply catches up to the demand and as you can see even in the last 10 years we did not experience a healthy market a healthy market when we have this six months of supply and no we it's not it didn't happen for us in the last 10 years now let me show you i can i can do the same thing for any zip code and so let's say for a kingstown area just to see what's been happening for statistics um the green is kingstown area and let's see the price the pricing in kingstown area compared to everywhere else so i just want to show you i can do this for any type of any zip code you want to see um information for so, and it takes me like a second. So give me a call if you want to know what's happening in your area and I can run exactly the same statistics for you. We can do it. We can compare a yearly numbers. We can compare two years, five years, 10, ten years, um, just to show you, you know, just to kind of give you an idea as to what exactly happens overall on the market. And uh, that's it, really. If you have any questions, please text me, call me, email me. I would love to answer them. Um, if you think I'm wrong, I don't claim to have a crystal ball. I may be wrong, but um, we'll see. We'll see. But if you are in the position of thinking about, you know, if you're thinking about selling or buying, let me know how I can help. Uh, my job is to help you get what you want with as little stress as possible. So I'd love to do that. Um, and on that, I will end this video. Bye.